everyone, it's me Grace, and today I'm turning my bathroom into a creepy magical forest. I specifically wanted to make this bathroom more fun because it's the bathroom that my guests are going to be using when they come to visit. I eventually want every room in this house to look like a place where hobbits would gather and relax before continuing on their journey. That is the end goal, my friends. But I'm going to start small with this half bathroom. So without further ado, let's go ahead and see what we got to work with. This is the plainest, beigest half bathroom ever. I don't like the color and I don't like this mirror. And oh my God, look at this toilet seat. Look away if you have sensitive eyes because yes, that is indeed a butt imprint on the toilet seat from years of use. I wouldn't be surprised if this was the original toilet seat that like came with the house. So that is definitely on my list of things I need to fix. But no pun intended, I do like this neat ledge. Overall, it's just kind of blah. So we're gonna make it more fun. So here's the plan. To make this into a creepy forest bathroom, I want to paint the walls a dark color and then paint a bunch of magical looking animals and plants all over the walls. I also want to switch out the mirror and the towel holder for something a bit more aesthetically pleasing. First thing I'm doing is taking down this mirror. I knew I was going to replace it anyway and I didn't want to paint around it. Also, watch me almost drop this thing and make a giant bad luck mess. Woohoo! Nothing? I also removed this towel holder because I'm planning on replacing this as well. Now I can use wall putty to patch all the holes I left from removing everything. Before I paint, I'm masking everything off. I started with the sink and then zoned out while I was probably thinking about food and then I taped the floor around the sink. I realized that I was a dum-dum about five minutes into this and continued masking things that actually needed to be masks. Like the ceiling, for example. Now I can paint. I'm painting the walls this blackish greenish base color. The actual name of it is called Dark Forest. A coincidence? I think not. I'm painting everything this color, including the shelf thing near the toilet and the trim. After the paint dried, I can start the fun stuff. I mixed up different colors of acrylic paint and painted a bunch of real and magical forest animals, trees, plants, bugs, and mushrooms, of course, all over the walls. As far as the composition, I had a few ideas. Like, I knew I wanted the owl perched on the tree, and a werewolf somewhere, and little mushrooms growing out of the corners, but everything else, I kind of decided on as I was sitting there on the floor painting. I especially love how this unicorn came out. He is so fun. In fact, I think you guys should name him. Tell me what you think his name should be down below. Then I removed the masking tape. This part is always so satisfying for me because I know I'm getting close to being done. As you can see, I still managed to get paint all over the floor. I tried really hard not to. I put down a mat while I was painting and tried to wipe up my messes as I went along, but sometimes paint just gets places. To clean up the dried paint, I sprayed Goo Gone on the paint and used a paint scraper to scrape it off the tile. For the sink, I was able to just use some soap and water and it came off just fine. I had this mirror that I used in my old apartment and decided it would go great in this bathroom. I think the blacks and silvers on the trim of this mirror look really cool against the dark green. Also, ignore all the cat hair on the mirror. I'll clean that up later, I promise. I picked out this adorable vintage dragon hook I found on Etsy and installed it in place of the old towel holder. I'm totally installing him here even though I am I'm blocking the whole frame. I'm sorry about that. But also, I love this dragon hook. I don't feel like you'd notice him unless you're really looking, but I know he's there, and now you know he's there, and we both know he's real cute. And he's good at holding towels. Look at him go. Since there's no storage in this bathroom, I put a basket here to serve as a place to put toilet paper. I'm also putting some decorations on this ledge, like this weird fake plant and an obsidian sphere. 
you know, to clear out your aura of psychic smog, and to shield you from negativity. And also, I think this candle looks neat. For the floor, I'm using a faux deer pelt I found at Target. I think it fits in quite nicely here. And of course, the moment you have all been waiting for. I know you've been waiting for it. I just, I know it. I replaced the toilet seat. Now my guests won't be grossed out, and you won't be grossed out. That is important. As a last touch, I switched out the old light bulbs for some vintage looking ones that have a dimmer, warmer light. And as soon as I switched these bulbs, it really tied this little bathroom together, and it gave it a whole new, creepy kind of mood. I really like it. like this video. I know it's not cosplay, but sometimes you just gotta turn your bathroom into a creepy magical forest. I hope you're cool with that. I also want to give a big special thank you to all my patrons who support this channel. We have the most lovely, amazing, supportive little community. We love to share art together and we would love you to join. Come and join us over on Patreon. We have a great time. I also really want to thank you guys who have been going out of your way and buying my book that I wrote. That's right, I wrote a book on cosplay, if you guys didn't know, and I really appreciate you guys buying it, especially in this weird, uncertain time. Thank you so much. <laughs> Y'all are really supporting the channel and keeping me going. Speaking of sharing art, this week's maker of the week is Sam Jam 1.0 from Instagram. They made this smitty head. It looks freaking crisp as heck. Look at that paint! It looks so good. If you guys want to show me what you're creating, I would love to see it. I am Zombies Workshop on both Twitter and Instagram, so I look forward to seeing y'all over there. If you like the video, I do hope you will hit that subscribe button because I would love to see you back. Until next time, everyone. Bye!